What's up everybody, this is Jack from Crypto 49er, bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. So today I want to talk about manual backtesting, the RSI bull bear strategy for the Gecko trading bot, and how it can lose you 10% of your money in 5 days. And this idea came about because of something like this. So this is Coinbase Pro with Gecko trading bot running the RSI bull bear strategy, trading live. And it doesn't do that well sometimes, you can see that it bought at 566 and sold at 548, obviously more than 2% loss. And then again, in here it bought, and there's two separate buys because GDAX or Coinbase Pro wasn't able to fill the order completely at one buy so that it filled in two separate buy orders. It made a sell at minimal gains, less than a dollar in terms of gains. And then the next trade it bought at, it bought at extremely high at 583, only to sell it again very low at 574.98. So it's basically losing you money on these trades. And if you have the Gecko Trading Bot running with this strategy, you might be questioning yourself, is this bot running correctly? Why am I losing money on back, almost back-to-back -back trades? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use TradingView to confirm whether or not your, your bot is working properly or not, and just to further understand what the bot is doing with your money. So you can obviously use this data from Coinbase Pro or wherever you have live trading. I currently don't have live trading. So in this case, I'm just using a back test. But for your purposes, if you have the Gecko trading bot running live right now, you can do the same thing and just follow what I'm going to do on TradingView to set up and manually back test and confirm that the trading bot is working properly. So in my case, I just ran a back test of a very short duration, 22 days here. So between May 8th to May 30th, and it shows you that the market went down 25%. And Gecko did relatively well actually, comparatively. It only lost 1.42%. So, but if you see some of the trades in here, the last three trades, for example, it lost 6%, 2%, 2.56%, totaling to over 10% in, what was this? Actually, less than five days. It's like a little over four days, I would say. In terms of four days trading, it lost you 10% of your holdings if you had a live trade. So that's kind of depressing, right? I mean, granted, yes, the market went down 25%, but this even seeing three consecutive losing trade, that kind of does hurt. But in order for you to understand what the bot is doing, it's best to just look at it on TradingView, compare and understand why it's making those decisions. So let's go into TradingView here. I already have all the trades that the bot did in terms of the buy and sells marked here in these blue arrows. The up arrows are for buys and the blue arrows are for sales. So if I zoom back out here, you'll see that there were six of them that I just marked down to show you the three losing trades. And I have ADX running in here, but you don't need it for this particular example. But if you, let's say for example, if you're running the RSI bull bear ADX strategy, you would need to have the ADX open as well. And in that case, you'll end up having more than three indicators. One way to get around it is, in the previous video, I showed you guys how to add more than four, three indicators. It's basically to write your own script to combine more than one indicator together. And that's what I did here. I just created something called dual SMAs, which have both simple moving averages in one indicator. And you can just look at a code right here. If I just pop the code, it's literally three lines of code to get around the issue of only having three indicators available for the free trading view account. Anyway, in this case, since I don't need the ADX, I'm going to close it out. But depends on your strategy, even the RSI bull bear strategy without the ADX, it depends on what you set the bull RSI and the bear RSI to be. If you use different intervals, so in this case, this strategy uses 25 for the uh, RSI setting for both bull and bear. So that's why I'm able to use this one RSI chart. But let's say that if I was using different intervals, I would need to have two RSI charts. So I am having something like this, where I'll go to RSI, open another RSI chart. And now it's to set one to a different interval, let's say in this case 25, and then the other one at another interval. So let's say though this one will be for the bull and this one for the bear, and then that way you can compare what it does at each of these intervals. So in this case, fortunately I don't have two different intervals for RSI for bull and bear trends. So I'm just gonna close out this other RSI here. And as I show you, I just click on the settings icon before and I'm able to change the length in terms of what is needed to calculate the RSI. The default is 14. In this case, the strategy uses 25, so I set it to 25. So now again, the strategy is very simple to understand, but sometimes it doesn't 
quite make sense. I mean, even though the strategy is easy to understand, sometimes it doesn't make sense what the bot is doing. But at least if you're able to see the buy and sell points and see it on TradingView visually, it'll help you understand it better. So let's go down here to the first trade it did here, the first losing trade, the first of the three consecutive losing trades on May 25th, 1335. You'll see that the yellow line is the fast moving average and the orange line is the slow moving average. Uh, one other thing I want to add here actually. So I'm going to go add a line here, a ray. I'm just going to add it to RSI chart because in this case, since I'm only using one RSI interval, but the um, particular parameters used for this strat right here is that in bear markets, the RSI high is only 50. And in the bull market, the RSI low is 50. So the bears and the bulls don't actually cross with each other. So what I really could do here is just set a nice line right here on 50, roughly. And I'll just change the properties here. I'll change it to a dotted line. And I'll make it yellow so that I can tell that this is the middle point. So now, basically what happens is this. When the yellow line is above the orange line, that means that the bot thinks we are in the bow trend. And when we are in bow trend, it will only buy between 50 and 80. Oh, one other thing, I can't forget to show all these little things I have already set here. So, but you see these dotted lines over here? This is what they consider as overbought and oversold. So they'll go below this line, it's oversold. It goes above this line, it's overbought. And the default is again, it's 30 and 70. I already configured it to match the strategy here. So the strategy uses 20, 50. So 20 for the low. So I'm going to say 20 is the oversold mark here. So let's go back to settings. Let's go to style. And then you see that. Actually, I didn't set it yet. So here. So you can set that to 25. And you can set it to 85. Is it 25 or 85? I think it's 20. So sorry. It's actually 20 for the low. So in this case, what that means is in the bull market, it'll buy anytime the RSI goes below 50. Like over here, as you can see, obviously you can tell. I'll probably zoom in a little bit more here just to show you better. Okay, so you can see that the RSI dropped below 50. The yellow dot dotted line I have set up right here. So that's when it decides to buy. So And then it will sell when it goes above 85, which is, I would say, pretty high. But... Let's just see what happens. So in here, this board over here, very clearly as you can see, because we're in a bull trend and the RSI fell below 50. So now the next time it sells, on May 25th, 2345 UTC. So let's just go over there. May 25th, 2345 UTC. So at this point, you're looking at it like, wait, why did it sell here? It didn't make sense. Well, it's because the yellow line now is below the orange line. So the yellow line is the fast moving average and the orange line is the slow moving average. So now that the yellow line is below it, the bot thinks we're in a bearish trend. So when we're in a bearish trend, it's following this strategy. Again, it's going to buy when it's below 20 and it's going to sell when it's above 50. So that's what it did exactly right over here. So it went on the previous candle, it's below 50, so then it didn't sell yet. But once it got above 50 because we're in a bear trend, it decided to sell regardless of the price. So in this case, it is a loss because we went from 597 to 582. So quite a bit of a loss. I think it's like a 2% loss, right? You can see how the strategy is very working. And then I just show you that two more times right here on the next two trades. So again, here we are in the, so I'll let you guys guess. Pause this video and guess what trend are we in right now? You got your answer? So we are in the bow trend because the yellow line is above the orange line. We're in the bow trend meaning that the bot will buy when the RSI is below 50. And in this case, it just went right below. As you can see clearly in this yellow dot line here, right below here, it went right below 50. Last candle was like 50 something, was like 56. And now this candle was at 45 around there. So that's why I decided to buy right over here. So now where does it sell? Let's see. It went down again, so it decided to sell at another loss. And in this case, again, it's because the strategy switched again. So previously we were in we were in a we we're in a bull trend, so it uses the bull RSI settings. And now we're in a bear trend, and it uses the bear RSI settings, and it sold at a loss because this time the bear trend again tells the bot to sell when the RSI goes above 50, which it just barely did. It barely manages to do that, and then fell, fall right back down again. 
So, but once it did, it sold it and then had another loss. So in this case, was I think it was another two percent loss. So in the last one now, at May twenty eighth, four a.m. Let's see what happens. So this is where the bot falls down on its face, literally, because you can see that it got caught. It was thinking that it was in a bull trend, and we literally were at like for like maybe a couple of candles in here. Let me see if I zoom in as much as possible here. So literally, the yellow line is still kind of above the orange line, just barely. If you look at the price point in the corner right here, on the top left corner, you'll see that the yellow line, the price point is 572.83, and then the orange line, the orange line, the slow SMA. The price point was 572.39, so it's just slightly lower. So the yellow line is still above the orange line. So technically, we're in a bull trend. That's why the bot decided to buy it because, again, it is below the RSI of 50. So anytime it's below RSI of 50, it's gonna buy, and it did, and it kind of screwed itself over because once it bought at 48 RSI at this point, you see the market is fall and tank. And tank. Fortunately, it didn't sell at the lowest. I mean, it wouldn't do that. At this point, we're obviously in the bear trend because the yellow line is really below the orange line. It will sell as soon as the RSI goes above 50, which happened right over here, as you can see. And when it's so at this point, we're losing 6%, well, almost 6%, as you can see here. So, three consecutive bad trades with this strategy. It is very hard to look at on a day to day basis when you have a running on an account that you trade with regularly. Let's say that you actually also uh, like to trade on the side with this account. It is very, very hard to look at because of trades like this where it just makes consecutive bad trades over and over and over again. Is it because of the settings? Perhaps the parameters are horrible and the settings are just not set up properly to make money? Well, no, because let's say that if we go look for a longer term, for example, we go from 22 days to roughly 4 months, 5 months, from January to May 30th. So now, let's see what happens. So as you can see in this case, the market lost 50%. So $1,000, if you have $1,000 in January that you bought and just hodled, you would have $500 by end of May 30th. Whereas if you use a bot, it went up 67%. So your thousand dollars would have become $1,673. So this bot is still massively profitable over the longer durations. But on a day to day basis, it is gonna be painful to look at when you go through and see some of the trades like these where three consecutive bad trades in a row causing you to lose 10% of your money. So it is definitely tough and that's why it's one of those strategies that if you have worries and have concern on what it's doing, definitely learn to see and just manually backtest yourself what it's doing, compare it on TradingView so that you understand what exactly is it doing to make sure that the bot is working properly. So that's my video for today guys. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for post notifications. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining. It isn't worth speculating. Peace out.